Okay, so now let's go to the next task and we have the following. Find all customer ID, first name, order ID, quantity, but include those customers who didn't place any orders. So for us, that means we need to see at the result all the customers, not only those customers that did place an order, but all the customers. In order to do that, we're going to use the left join. So we're going to have exactly the same query. There is nothing has changed, the same columns, the same tables. But instead of saying inner join, we're going to work with the left join. And saying left join, that means, okay, for the SQL, it's going to list all the customers. So let's see what's going to happen if we do that. Uh, let me make it bigger a little bit. So as you can see here, as I said, left join, we have all the informations from the customers and only the matching ones from the orders. All right, guys, again, let's understand what the database was doing once we executed the left join. So the database is going to focus on the customers and the orders. The database understand, okay, customers is the left table because it comes as first with the from. And the orders is the right table because it comes in the left join in the query as a second. So after that, it's going to specify, okay, the columns. Again, we have the customer ID, first name, order ID, and quantity. And so now it's going to start doing the matching and going to check, okay, which join type would we have? We have the left. So since we said, okay, it is a left join, the database is going to say, okay, I need everything from the left table without doing any matches. So we need everything. So it's going to list all the IDs and as well all the names without checking anything. But from the right side, we need only the matching record. So it's going to really check each one of them. So here, customer ID, it exists in the customers. So it's going to take it and put it as a result. So now for customer ID 2, we have as well one. It's going to put it as a result. The customer ID 3, there is matching. But now for Martin, he don't have any orders. So the database is going to show nulls. Instead of that, Null, it means like an empty, there is no value found or unknown. And for better as well, there is no customer ID with the number five. That means there is nothing at the right side. We will have as well and empty. So this is how it looks. Once you execute the left join, you will get everything from the left and only the matching from the right. If there is anything missing, it's gonna put nulls. All right, so that's all for the left join. Next, we're gonna start talking about the right join. It is very similar to the left join. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see See you in the next tutorial. Bye.